Hello everyone, today we're going to build this little screen connected to an Arduino Pro over here. Basically I'm using this in a hot desk uh, office where you just want to reserve your seat uh, for the next day so no one else uses it. And we're going to be using one of these little screens, I bought a couple of them. And they're using the I2C protocol. As you can see over here and the way to connect this is really simple basically you connect the VCC to 5 volts ground to ground SCL goes to A5 and SDA goes to A4 on the Arduino so let's start okay so at this point you should have your Arduino hooked up to your uh, computer and you should have your hooked up to the Arduino using the pins uh, discussed before. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install a library called U8G2. I already have it installed but if you don't uh, just install it from here directly in the IDE. After that the first thing we want to do is that we want to include that library and initialize the class. I'm not gonna write because it's too long and but basically this is how you do it. Uh, in this case, we're not going to be using the loop, uh, we're just going to use the setup. Okay, so next what we want to do is, uh, let's just clear this up. We want to start working with the library, so we're going to say U8G2. Uh, we're going to say begin. Next line is going to be clear buffer. And the next line is actually going to draw on the screen. So we're going to say draw x b and p. And the first parameter in here, uh, the first two actually are the <coughs> coordinates where the uh, where the image should start on the screen. So it's going to start from x zero, y zero. Then we're going to give it the uh, height, the width, and height of the image and then we're going to give it the image. Okay, so next what we want to do is actually create an image for this. So here I got my Photoshop and you can see that my image is 128 pixels by 64. And what I've done here is that I have a little uh, uh, screen test. Basically, you probably noticed that my screen is in dual tones, so the top part is in uh, yellow and the bottom part is in blue. And um, if I uh, put this, uh, send this to the screen, you can also notice that right after these 64 pixels, so if I do this, uh, not 64, so after 16 pixels, there is an actual black line, so a line where there are no pixels at all and then the screen continues from here again so if we save this image i have it already saved in here and we can use this website um, image to cpp uh, what we want to do is basically just take this image in here we upload it we have to check this um, checkbox in here and then basically just copy all this. This is our image, the representation of it on the screen. So now if we go back to our code, we should have this image uh, saved into a, a variable. And basically the type of variable is like this, unsigned char. We're gonna call it image reserved. So reserved this one has to match the one over here and it's an array I'm gonna say prop mail which seems to just tell Arduino where to store this variable in a different type of memory I'm not sure but basically this is how it works cool so now if we save this actually we forgot one thing to do still so after drawing all that, we actually need to send the buffer. So we're going to say send buffer. Okay, so now let's save and see what's going to happen on the Arduino. Okay, so now you can see how it actually looks on the Arduino. You can see this is a solid um, 
So the image over here, and then you can see these indentations, and then there's this line where there doesn't seem to be any pixels at all. So that's how it matches to what we have in uh, in our image. Okay, so now what I actually want to do is I have um, prepared already a couple of images. So one of them is going to be like this, reserved, general error, and then the other one is going to be free, seek a seat. Right. I already have them prepared, so let's open our website, let's refresh this, and let's take the free image, okay, let's put it in here, let's generate the code, take all this code from here, go back to our IDE, and this we're gonna call it free image free let's format it okay cool so let's see if we can actually show this now save it and send it to the Arduino here okay so this is how it looks right now you can see it says free take a seat and now I'll actually go in and do the other image and then we'll go back to the code okay so back to the code here I've uh, added the um, correct image for reserved and for free now um, what we can do is, of course, we can upload the code every time we want to change what's um, uh, what's uh, showing on the screen. But that's not a good way of doing things, right? We want to be able to do it uh, in, uh, in an easier way. So one of uh, an idea I had was to use the EEPROM um, for the Arduino. Basically, EEPROM is the is the internal um, memory for the that that can be used on an Arduino. So basically, you can write really small amounts of information in there and then read them back. And the good thing about this is that this information actually gets stored on the board, so it doesn't matter if you uh, restart the board, you can still read some uh, some information from there. So the idea here is that we want to. Um, Every time we reset the board, we actually want to uh, switch the image that we are going to uh, to show. So let's say we're showing now the desk is free, and as soon as we restart Arduino, we want to actually show the screen where it says it's uh, the seat is reserved, right? Cool. So in order to do that, we need to include this library. This one comes by default with Arduino, so we don't need to install it from anywhere. Cool. So what do we want to uh, do here is that we want to have a variable that is stored in EEPROM and first we want to read it. So we read it from a certain address. Then we want to say the new value. The new value is equal to in case value equals to 1. Then we switch it to 0. Otherwise we switch it to 1. So the next line would be, we want to write that value to EEPROM, so we say zero here, new value, then we close it. Cool. So we wrote the value in here, we clear the buffer, and here somewhere, let's say something like new value, if new value equals to one, then we want to say, actually we want to draw this, Okay, so if uh, value is equal 1, we want to draw the images free, right? And else we want to draw image reserved. Cool. So every time we start the Arduino, it's going to see if it has a value in um, for this address in EEPROM. And if it, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if it has it or not, but it will just switch that um, from 0 to 1, or from 1 to 0, and then write it to that address again. 
Cool. Let's save this and see if it works. So here we have the finished product. You can see right now it says free, take a seat. And if I just uh, tap on the reset button on the Arduino, it's going to reload. And now it says reserved. I do that again. It says free and I do that again. It goes back to reserved. That's all. I hope you like the project. Have fun.